Welcome to the PM episode of Toothy Trivia. I'm your host, Emma, and I'm here to help make brushing your teeth for two minutes easy. Right now, you should be flossing and getting your toothbrush ready. While you do that, I would like to tell you about another show produced by Podcast Playground called Wacky News. Wacky News airs every Monday morning and is hosted by Jackson and Dylan. They are kids just like us. In every episode, they share three cool news stories from all around the world that are actually interesting to kids, not boring adult news. They also have a section just for kid-friendly jokes. If you subscribe and listen to each episode as it is aired, you will be able to share the neat stories and jokes with your friends on the bus, at school, during lunch, or whenever you want. Just go to podcastplayground.com to learn more about and subscribe to Wacky News. Now it's time to get those teeth of yours brushed. Are you ready? Let's go. Today's trivia theme is energy. During chemical reactions, chemical energy is often transformed into light or heat. Stretched rubber bands and compressed springs are examples of elastic potential energy. Windmills have been around for a long time. They were used as far back as 200 BC. Most hydroelectric power stations use water held in dams to drive turbines and generators which turn mechanical energy into electrical energy. The most common type of watermill is used to grind grains into flour. The largest producers of nuclear power are the US, France, and Japan. Solar energy is taken from the light from the sun's rays that hit the earth. Solar energy can be used to make electricity and other forms of energy. Thermal energy from the sun was first used by British astronomer John Herschel as he used a thermal box to cook food. In order to heat objects such as swimming pools, solar energy is converted into thermal energy. One wind turbine could power up to 500 homes. The production of wind energy does not produce pollution. European countries tend to utilize wind energy more than other countries because of their favorable climate conditions. Unlike other forms of energy, wind energy requires virtually no water during production. Wind energy is not used more often because it is expensive to produce. The best places to utilize wind energy are prairies because they receive constant wind. UV lights are often used by forensic scientists to see details that are not seen by the naked eye. Although humans cannot see UV light, some insects have the ability to see it. Optics is the study of light. The speed of light changes when traveling through different objects. And you're done! Weren't those two minutes easy? And don't forget to go to podcastplayground.com and subscribe to Toothy Trivia so you can get every episode and never rush your brushing again.